Let me start by explaining what pieces we have. We have your BGAN, a battery pack, your repeater, a slave phone, Ethernet cord, power for your repeater from the battery pack, and power cord from your battery pack to your BGAN. Let's take these pieces and put them together for use in the field. We've got your BGAN here. We're going to take and set that up. We're going to take the bar power cord, plug that in here in the side. It goes in here to your battery. Then we take your Ethernet cord. We're going to make sure to plug that in here where it's sound. You take your cord here, plug in here for power to your repeater. And now take your Ethernet cord, plug into here for your repeater. All right, we'll set that over here because we can forget about that, for at least for now. Okay. That's set up, and now you're ready to turn the power on. Let's cut the power on. It's going to take a second for it to load up. You'll see a bar graph as it's loading. that's loaded you should be able to see it say zeros and a slight beeping noise once you have a beeping noise what you're going to do is you're going to take your began and turn it until you see the numbers go to 47 48 you would like like for it to get to a high pitched squeal around 49 50 ideal and from here you hit OK it's going to take a little while while it blocks the signal you'll see it says registering You'll see the lock symbol come on screen. Eventually it says ready, then data at zero at the moment. Your application is turned on for your firewall, whichever app you happen to be using. No root is my favorite at the moment. Go to Ingress should already be loaded and you are ready to go let's make sure to put all of our keys into capsules loading up keys can eat up a lot of data fast before you leave the house also make sure you have updated ingress the last thing you need is to be in the field when you have to upgrade.